let's talk a little bit about what we're doing first before we start drawing. What do you guys want to plant in the garden? Broccoli. Broccoli and flowers. What else? Corn. You want to make some corn? corn? On the cob. Ooh, corn on the cob is so delicious. How about strawberries? Teachers play a critical role in building upon children's experiences in the classroom through language and interactions. The purpose of this video, Language for Learning, is to show teachers using skilled techniques for communication. These techniques include positive language, expansion, questioning, and redirection. Teachers use them to foster critical thinking and problem-solving skills, promote learning as they extend children's knowledge, and help children develop social skills. In the video, you will see interactions in diverse childcare settings and how teachers modify their interactions to meet the developmental needs of their specific age group. Yeah. All right, you guys, yeah, we're gonna yeah, put that on yeah. top. Do you see the newspaper yeah. that's down here? Yeah. We're gonna put more dirt on top of the newspaper. Remember, the newspaper was to help with weeds so we wouldn't have lots of weeds in our garden. So sprinkle out the dirt. Elijah, what do you think about all this dirt? I think about, I think, that we should pile it up. You think we should pile up the dirt? Why do you want to do it that way? Preschoolers are by nature curious and engaged learners interested in the world around them. Teachers build on children's language skills by using open-ended questions to encourage detailed conversation. Reasoning and problem-solving skills practice with early literacy and numeracy concepts and learning about nature and science are all supported through teachers' use of language in the classroom. These examples show specific language techniques being used to support preschoolers' cognitive development based on typical age characteristics of two through five-year-olds. Concept development. Questions to promote reasoning. And he stays, and anybody remember how long he stays in the chrysalis? Two weeks. Two weeks, Two weeks. good. Dos semanas. Probably is. Yeah. Days of the week. Woohoo! You're so smart. Tell me what does happen after this. I heard a good word. I heard good vocabulary over here. Say it again, Tatiana. He will hatch. He'll come out again. He'll hatch out of that chrysalis. What letter is that? I'll make my letter T. How about this letter? I. Uh, how about that one? T. Letter W. What else? Encouraging children to describe their problem solving. Now, if you want to keep it going, what would come next? Green. Now, why did you do it like that? Because you saw the pattern that I did. Oh, you're smart. Let me see if I can switch it up for you. Let's add some more color. Orange, mm -hmm. yellow, yellow, green, orange, green, uh, green. yellow, Ye I need yellow. And you may have to talk it out so it can help you see what you're doing. Put it on really tight. What do you think if I put three more down here? What would it be? Yellow, yellow, green. Yellow, yellow, orange. I think you figured it out. Give me some right there. Do you see what he did, Shakur? John and I were looking for worms too, Eli, but all we're finding are roots and dirt. So worms be where it's nice and wet. Oh, worms John, you hear what Alex is saying? He says that worms are usually where it's nice and wet, and our garden is a little bit dry right now, and that's why you're probably having a hard time seeing any worms, because the garden is dry. Why is the garden dry? Because the sun always gets it. Because the sun's always getting it. What else is not happening? What have we not seen come down? Water. Yeah, I'm not seeing any water. It hasn't been raining. Rain. Do you know what sort of means, uh, Isabel? I do. What does it mean, sweetheart? Like if you have a blue, put it in the blue pie. And if you have a pink, put it in the pink pie. Right. Like, 
Right, so everything I that purple, I put it you right, so everything that looks together looks the same, you put them together in one big pile, okay? <laughs> yep, can you guys sort these for me? We have what are these called? Pine, pine. pine cones, gumballs. You call them gumballs? Some gumballs. Now, look what I have now. Oh, I love those. Do they look like, do they look, do they look like these? No, no, they, so they should go in a different container. And why should they go in a different hey, container? I like because those. I saw those. But, but why should they go in a different container? Can I put them in there? No. They're still prickly and they're pointy. Yes, yeah. but they're not. But they don't look alike. They don't look the same. All right, I'm gonna put them here. All right, we got a pine cone box. We got a gumball box. All right, what are we gonna do with the stick? Well, the sticks will go in the green one. In the green one. And why are they gonna put them in the green one because and not in the purple one? See, look. Because we already started putting these in. And they look the same. Do they oh, all come from trees? Yes, everything. Everything comes Except from trees. Except for this, these. Where do you think they come from? They come, they come from gumball trees. Gumball trees. I've never seen a gumball tree. It's like a gumball, the bubble gum gumball. Yeah. You sure? No. They say they come from the ground. The ground. Where have you seen these before? I seen these at at the other. At, at our school, at the, that tree over there. At the magnolia tree. Yeah, at the, at the magnolia tree. Mm -hmm. And they were growing red seeds, and I wonder if I planted them. And I planted them, and a magnolia tree grew. And when they bloom, what do they look like? They look like flowers. They are pretty white flowers. You yeah. remember that, Boston? Language to support literacy. Yeah, What's the name of your restaurant? McDonald's, toilet, produce food. McDonald's what? Toilet, produce food. Yep, <laughs> McDonald's is right down there. How do you know it's McDonald's? Uh, playground. A playground? Yeah. There's other restaurants that has a playground. How do you know that's McDonald's? Because. Because it says it on the sign right here. It says it on the sign. What letter does McDonald's have on its sign? M. 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 Can you write me an M? So when I see that sign, that means there's a McDonald's nearby, right? Yes. Yeah. That's the watermelon. Oh, the watermelon. What color are watermelons? I'm done. What do you like about watermelons? Because I eat all of it. Why do we need a door in the garden? Um, I just made it for the ten. Oh, okay. If I the wall, I made a big, big wall, so I thought I should put a, a, a door. That's a good idea. If you're going to make a big wall, you should have a door so you can come in and out. That's a good plan. You want me to draw a pizza? What shape do I need to use to draw a pizza? Bread. What shape? What shape is a pizza? Around and around. What's the name of that shape? Is that a square? A circle. That's a circle. That's right. What goes on your pizza? Cheese. Cheese? What color is the cheese? White. White? That's the brown circle thing. That's the sausage. Pizza hot. Pizza hot. Oh, okay. Did you put a hot sign on it? H-O-T, hot. Let's know that pizza is hot. Daily experiences with math and numbers. Raph, draw seven circles for the girls. One, two, three. Oh, she's just got one. Two. One more. Eight. Good job, Haley. Now, let's count our circles and our X's. Ready? One, two, three, four, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You are just so smart, I didn't even have to tell you what it was. That's right, this one is the book about the sunflower. This is the book about the monarch butterfly. So what we're going to do is take a vote. So, let's see. Looks like the people on this side want to hear. Sunflower. They want to hear the sunflower story. Let's see how many people we have over here. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, we have five people over here. How do you say five in Spanish? Who can tell me? Where'd it go? Let's see. Thank you. Okay, let's see how many people we have that want to hear the butterfly story. Let's count them in Spanish. 
Hold up, hold up. I gotta touch him. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once. We're gonna use that as the timer. When it is at the five, we're going to be done with this, okay? When the, when the big hand is at the 11. Daily experiences with nature and science. Little girls, you're in the right place to get to see the caterpillar this morning. You see those yellow little bitty bugs right there? Those are aphids. Can you see them? It's big. It makes them bigger. That's called a magnifying glass, and that's what it does is make things bigger. Let's count them then. One, two, three. Is there another one? Over there and that side. We counted that one, didn't we? No. Oh, we didn't. We have four. Hooray! It's very important that we give them water. Do you guys know why? Them. It helps them. How does it help them? Because if they don't have the water, they won't die. They will. They need water to keep themselves moist and to help themselves grow. So we're going to water everything that we're growing. That's our pumpkin seeds, Landis. And well, who else was eating our peaches? Me. The birds. The birds and the squirrels. Squirrels, yeah. So we had to get over here and pick our peaches before they ate them all, didn't we? And then we made a peach cobbler. Was it good? Yes, it was. It was good. What, what kind of nest is that? A bird's nest. A bird's nest. What do you think? What do you think may be in there? Eggs. 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 The interactions we've just observed were become? also very social and like? pleasant. Not only can language support children's cognitive development, but teachers can also use language to convey social expectations and model appropriate behavior. Social skills. Preschool children's advancing social skills allow them to be active participants in the social environment of the classroom. They are better able to negotiate interactions with peers, express their needs, and understand the emotions of others. The following examples show teachers using guided language to support children's social development. Encouraging children to express feelings. Everybody turn around and give your friend a big hug. What you gonna tell them? I love you, friend. I love you, friend. I love you. And tell them have a great day. Somebody show Trinise some love. She's standing here on her cue and she needs love. There they go all around. That's the way you do it. Thanks, friends. Everybody go back and have a seat. <laughs> Griffin, what do you want to say on this one, Fuzzy? Who do you want to make this one for? Nico. To Nico from Griffin. Griffin, what do you want to say to Nico? I love you. I love you. To Nico from Griffin, I love you. Facilitating conversation during play. What happens when we run out? Buy some more. Let's buy some more. Yeah. Emma. Two. Slow hard. <laughs> How many bubbles came out of there? Bubbles. Can you count them? Ten? Blow. Count. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Blow. Ooh. Leia, who do you think makes this stuff in here? The bubble man. The bubble man? You think that's why it's called the bubble man? Where, where do you think he lives at? Bubba City? Have you ever, have you ever been to Bubba City? No? You think there's some worms in there? Do you see a worm? There's something. What's that? What's that? I don't know. A root. A root? Found a root.
What do you think that belonged to? It was inside the back of dirt. You want to see if there's anything else in there that you don't recognize or that you do recognize? <gasps> Look at that. Fruit in here. Fruit in there? Uh -huh. What kind of fruit would be growing in a bag of dirt? I don't know. Oh, cool. huh. Say, what one's your favorite princess, Gabby? All. All of them? Uh -huh. Yeah? What dress would you wear? I would wear that. Why? I would wear that. Why? Which one would you wear? That one. Would I look good in that one? <laughs> no. Oh, you would look good in the jasmine one. Oh, yeah, the jasmine one. Why is that? Because it has pants and a shirt, so. All right. Discussing appropriate behavior. Take good care of the baby. Oh, the little sweet baby. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's just sweet. That's a precious baby. You fed the baby chips? Is that nutritious food? No. no. Baby can't yeah. eat chips. He can eat bacon. Did you hear what Jaden just said? The babies can't eat chips because they don't have teeth. Is there something nutritious that we can give this baby? For the baby. <laughs> we have to be gentle with the precious baby. Encouraging children to work together. Boston, honey, can you tell JT what we're doing today? Um, we're doing a sorting game, so um, we can show it. Do you know what that word means? Do you know what sort means? He doesn't know what it means. Can you tell him? Well, it means to sort things and where it's supposed to go. And the other thing. Do you put the things that look the same or things that look different together? Look. JT, you got it. So all the pine cones go in one container. And all the gumballs. And the gumballs go in a container. And Boston's putting those in the purple container. You can get one by one, JT. That's all right. I'm done. You finished? Huh? Well, thank you for helping me sort. Thanks for helping JT, too. Taylor, we're sharing. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, now, we, we have enough for everyone. Taylor, I'm talking. We have enough for everyone to get one, okay? So that's Curtis's. That's Sanaya's. Okay, let me see. I'll mix them up, and then I'll let you guys pick one, okay? One. okay. Taylor, are you going to help me spin? Skelly. Skelly. S-C-A-L-Y. Yes, Skelly. Okay, so you gotta you gotta take turns. He picks up one, then you two, then he three. Okay, what is this? What kind of fish is that? What does this look like? Helping children with conflict resolution. This used to be a problem. May I have this for a minute? Give this to me. Give this to me. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I want to put the lid on. Monica, he would like to put the lid on. You put yours in here, and then you hand it to Jesus so he can put the lid on. Okay. Wait a minute, let's wait till he's ready. Hand it to Jesus. There, that's called working together. You did it. He's happy. What happened? I have this one because Michael was told me he had that first, and I had that first. You had it first? You want to play with it? You want to play with this? What should you do? Should you ask? Should you ask Jade if she will will share with you? Did you ask her? Can I tell somebody? Yeah, you can go. Wait a minute, Jade. Ask Jade if she'll share with you. How we gonna do this? You play with it a little while and then give it to him, and he give it back to you. Is that okay? Can you do that? Here. What are you supposed to tell Jay? She's going to share with you. What should you tell her? What should you tell her? Hey, thank you. All right, y'all going to play together? Go ahead. Where's Matthew? Who's helping you make a cake? Micah's helping you. Yeah. What are y'all doing? Are you putting in the ingredients? What are you putting in? Mm -hmm. Caleb, he's gonna follow me. 
Why do you think she's following you? I don't know. Well, you know what? You could try this. How about this? Do you know you're following me? Do you know you're following me? I don't like that when you're following me. How come? Why not? I see people everywhere go keep following me. Hmm. What do you think about that? Are you following? What do you think? No, I want to play with her. Oh, did you just hear what she just said? Wait, 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 wait. Did you hear what she just said? Now, remember, we practiced this. We practiced this again and again. When I'm done playing with my friends, maybe you can play with me. When I'm done playing with my friends, maybe you can play with me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, I'm wondering, I'm wondering what, where else you might want to play. The examples shown in the video illustrate the important role of the teacher in using language with preschoolers. Through the course of a busy day at preschool and over time, the language used by teachers can introduce new concepts and reinforce skills. Effective questioning can build on previous experiences and connect them to current activities while at the same time fostering a sense of community within the classroom. Teachers support developing social skills by facilitating positive interactions and assisting children in working through conflicts. A quality childcare environment in which adults model appropriate language and behavior helps children become confident in their own learning process and encourages them to become articulate and empathetic individuals.